Hi folks, Slick Slices here. Um, today I'm going to have a look at a new, well we're starting to look at a new family of knives um, from one particular manufacturer in Germany. But one of these is, is that. The other three are um, Sheffield knives. One, two, three Sheffield knives. All of which are very much similar patterns. They are uh, a lamb's foot or a sheep's foot blade in a uh, jackknife form um, and uh, this was a very common uh, form of knife from the 17th century on and still is today um, but there is a slight difference in that this one has a big anchor in the middle uh, in some ways that has no significance at all it's just uh, that this particular branded one is known as the anchor knife. Um, I just caught my eye for a number of reasons. One, in my youth, I was a very keen uh, sailor. And later on, when I was in my um, early 20s or late teens, early 20s, I uh, was a sub lieutenant in the Royal Naval Reserve in in Britain here um, so I sort of I always the idea of an anchor um, appeals to me that I showed this knife before and when I did uh, uh, Paddy potato peelers saw it and immediately had to have one so uh, I showed it one day he ordered it that same day and had it delivered the day after it particularly attracted him because he was in the Royal Navy he was full-time as opposed to a reservist like me and he um, he was a uh, leading seaman which uh, is colloquially known as a killick and their badge of um, rank is an anchor of this type which is known as a killick anchor there are lots of types of anchors but this type the sort of um, archetypal anchor which i'm not sure anybody really uses these days is known as a killick anchor anyway this one is made in not in sheffield but in germany and it's made by um a firm of otter otter Messer. Hopefully that shows up reasonably. Yeah, there we are. And uh, the other marks on the uh, tang, which are interesting there are, if I can get that to show you, it says Ross Frey, which is uh, stainless in uh, German, and the word Solingen, which is the location. It's the, uh, Sheffield is to English knives, Solingen is to, to German knives. There's nothing on the reverse of the tang, and there's nothing, as you've already seen, on the reverse of the handle. I believe it's grenadil wood. It's certainly a dark hard wood that polishes quite nicely. Um, you can get a good shine on it. Um, in terms of price wise, it's just um, more expensive than, you know, a basic um, sort of Sheffield knife. Um, but it's probably better put together, maybe not to the finish of a a, a sort of um, high-end premium Sheffield knife but it's somewhere in between um, the you know the fit and finish is pretty good these are hand hafted um, there's no you know no serious gapping and these come in around about the sort of 50 pounds mark I think um, which is, you know, I think a fair price for a knife of this type. They're also available in carbon steel, as well as uh, this one is stainless steel. This also has um, stainless steel liners and stainless steel bolsters. So this is actually quite a good um, nautical knife in that it's not going to rust the minute it's uh, shown uh, salt water. Now, this blade shape, um, you could call it a sheep's foot. Because it's so curved here, it's sort of tending towards a worn cliff, but I would still call this a sheep's foot. Um, 
but it's particularly good for battening ropes. So um, one has a rope. Let's pretend that's a bit of rope. One puts the knife on it like that and uh, thumps the back of the blade with a, a batten and cuts through the rope. Probably best not to do that with uh, one of my best ironwood uh, tell us eyewitness knives, but nonetheless. Um, this is, oh, and also I probably should point out, it's got a lanyard hole at the end, um, which again is quite useful if you're going anywhere near water. Having a lanyard on your knife is probably a good thing because there's a chance that you'll drop it and it'll disappear to the bottom of the briny blue and never be seen again very, very quickly. Um, but, uh, you know, I, you think you always have a lanyard on a on a, a seaman's knife. But anyway, it's a good knife, it's well made, and um, it leads us into a family of otter knives that I'm going to show uh, over the next few videos. So if you like this stuff, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of it, the rest of this little family of little otters. Did I show you? It's got a nice picture of an otter on it. I don't know if it did. Maybe I did, yeah, I think I did. But anyway, it's got a little picture of a little otter catching a fish. Um, we're going to have a whole family of otters and uh, I think there's about half a dozen all together. This is the first one. So, um, yes, remember to subscribe and ring the bell if you want to see more of them. Thank you.